So I've been getting a lot of phone calls lately about why do I have brown areas in my yard? Um, why don't I have brown spots? So I'll come out to the yard and I'll, I'll check on things. Um, but I'll tell you what we're seeing this time of year is drought related conditions. So uh, let's go back a few months. This spring, uh, we had some really good rain. Um, well, I'll, I'll, first of all, I'll start, start off with saying that I'm in the Alabama. I'm in the Birmingham, Alabama area. Uh, so we had really good rain this spring. Our lawns greened up quite nice. Uh, and then about a month, month and a half ago, the rain just quit. Uh, we have not had any significant rain in about six weeks. And our lawns are starting to see stress from that. So... Uh, about a month ago this yard was completely green but now we're starting to see uh, this browning let me show you this spot up here so this is all drought stressed related it almost has a white look about it especially this spot right here so uh, when it starts having this light gray white look this is drought related conditions so we get phone calls a lot of times saying will you come put more fertilizer down on my yard you know I, I need it to turn green again if you fertilize a lawn that is in drought stress it's only going to make it worse if you don't water it so uh, that brings up my next point is that when your when your yard is drought stressed like this it obviously needs water so, uh, you know, we ask questions sometimes. How often do you water? Do you water at all? Most people tell the truth and say, well, you know, I, I haven't been watering. Uh, and some people will lie and say, I water every day. And then we can just look at the lawn and tell that that's not true. Uh, but, you know, all you can do is just encourage the homeowner to, to water as much as they can to help these drought stressed conditions improve um if i if i fertilize this lawn right now it's not going to help one bit and, and it might even make these areas worse so this is the backyard of that same lawn uh, this is zoysia back here this backyard was beautiful a month ago uh, but we have not had any significant rainfall and this is what we're starting to see this is not a fungus. This is not an insect causing this. This is just drought injury. So all you can do at this point is just water as much as you can. And I understand some people don't have irrigation. Uh, some people don't have the means uh, to water their yard. Uh, and that's okay. It's, uh, you know, if you're not able to water your yard, just, uh, you know, lower, lower your expectations. Hope and pray for rain. If we get just a week of rainfall, this will improve. Two or three days of rain, and, and this will make the green pop. Uh, look at this spot back here. Uh, this is not a natural area. This is drought-injured grass. So a month ago, this was all green. Uh, but this is coming down off of a slope from that fence right there. I'm not sure how much topsoil is underneath that area of grass. Um, but if we don't get any significant rainfall soon, or if the homeowner is not able to water, uh, this, this brown grass or white grass will just continue to creep through the whole yard. So I found another area of drought stressed conditions so a uh, helpful tip or a suggestion uh, when you're dealing with dry weather uh, and your your lawn is having these white spots uh, which is caused by drought related conditions here so a good helpful tip is to not mow it short so this this was just um, mowed not by me um, uh, but you, you typically want to raise your mowing height uh, during the heat of the summer. Uh, we're at the end of June right now, but it's uh, we're having highs uh, in the 98, 99, 100 range. Uh, so you, you typically want to raise your mowing height 
Uh, and what that's going to do, the, the grass itself is going to protect the root system uh, by creating a, a canopy. It creates a little bit of shade uh, because when your grass is short like this in the heat of the summer, it's just baking from above and below. Uh, so raise your mowing height as the heat of the summer um, you know, continues on. Uh, if we were getting enough rainfall, I, I think it would still be okay to cut it short. But, um, but as you can see, these brown spots, uh, light gray, white spots like this, this is all caused by drought. Uh, so this doesn't need more fertilizer. Uh, this just needs water. So this is what, this is what it looks like when a grass is drought stressed. So here's another yard that is severely drought stressed, uh, that's been mowed really short. Uh, a lot of times in these neighborhoods where these skinny strips of grass sit, uh, these suffer the worst. Uh, there's, there's probably not a lot of topsoil in those areas and it's just being baked by the sun above and by the street and by the sidewalk. It's just cooking to death right there. Uh, so it's, uh, again, the main thing these yards need is water. So even the lawns that uh, water on a regular basis are still seeing drought-related injury. Uh, just like along the driveway right there. Uh, every square foot of grass is competing for water. So we get the question a lot of times is why is some of my grass green but some of my grass is brown? Uh, there's really no good answer for that other than the grass is just competing with itself for water. Some areas are gonna win and some areas are gonna lose. Just do the best you can out there. Uh, water as much as you can, uh, but we just need rain. Just, just hope for rain and uh, be patient with your lawn care provider because there, there's nothing that is really gonna fix uh, drought related injuries like this. Also, just another reminder to uh, raise your mower blades um, when you're dealing with drought. 